Detroit is now working on new plans to cope with its financial crisis. The mayor announced what he calls a series of revenue enhancing initiatives. Right now, 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig is downtown. Kim, what can you tell us about these proposals? Well, the administration, Joanne, is talking about getting aggressive when it comes to generating money and collecting money owed, and that includes collecting unpaid income taxes, but they're also looking at an amnesty program. We met with the mayor and the treasurer and the city's financial officer, and they laid out a series of things that they want to implement in order to make it all happen. The initial program will be for income tax amnesty, and it will start mid-January. We plan for it to last approximately 30 days, and we will be offering penalty abatements for delinquent debts if they're paid in full during that time. We're currently negotiating to sell the uh, Veterans Memorial Building and uh, a couple of other properties that I am not at liberty to speak of right now, but we anticipate that the uh, proceeds from the sale of these assets will approximate uh, $7 million. And I've said from day one that the city was in a financial crisis. It hasn't changed. But because of all of the inaccurate information, all the outdated policies and procedures, et cetera, et cetera, what we've had to do is go in and, and build a foundation and that's not an easy thing to do when you're going back 10, 15, 20 years. And some of the other things the administration wants to do to secure revenue include collecting delinquent property taxes and licensing fees. They're also talking about towing fees and also towing abandoned vehicles. They're also working on cracking down on worker comp fraud. Reporting live in downtown Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7X News. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Kim.